Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Thank you all who, who are being willing to watch the videos while they may not look super great right now. I really do appreciate it. Um, also, this was supposed to be a Soma video today. Also, it was supposed to be earlier this weekend, but I had sort of a last minute family drop in. So, we didn't have videos this weekend, but thank you all for waiting. And I, because I'm starting up a job this week, I'm having to switch which days I do Soma and which days I do Coder. So... Um, that's why we have a coder video today, so yay for you guys. So, anyways, the thank you guys again for watching the videos. As always, I appreciate it. But the real me from the recording, who's chatting with all her crewmates, will be back in a second. Where am I? I am in this room. Okay. Oh, I should I should make my my lightsaber better. Come on, upgrade. Okay, upgrade this item with, uh, wait, um, how many crystals can I put in? Mm, the wife said for the visa, yeah, probably. You're getting a shale vibe? That's actually a really good point, yeah. Two bonus and one color. Are you okay, doggy? Okay. Doggy was very sick all night as well. Well, he puked. And he had a seizure yesterday and pooped on the carpet. It was great. We had a great time yesterday and this morning. It was really nice. Push all the crystals in if they don't fit. Use a hammer. I just don't know... Okay. So right now, oh wait, I don't, I don't know. Okay, found a desert world. Attack bonus three. Attack plus one. Damage plus one. On hit properties, stun DC ten twenty five percent for two rounds. <gasps> I like that one. Um, this one's just the color. Nice. I like. I like, uh, let's see. Ooh. Our, our, oh. So there's a difference between red and rose, I think. Blue. Green. Oh, the green one's a classic, but I do like the purple. I kind of like the green one. Red, red, dark side, no! Poor doggy, I know. I, I felt really bad for him. Attack bonus one. Oh, another one. Um. Damage bonus, energy 1d6. Attack bonus just one, but. Uh, attack plus one, damage plus one, attack bonus plus three. Eh. So my, my, my to hit, I get an attack bonus of one, whereas this, my to hit, is a, pl a plus three. But if I do hit, I get an extra energy damage of 1d6. So maybe... Eh, I'll just stick with that. HK, oh yeah, HK's the OG, it would be the OG. Uh, who's got this one equipped? Oh, uh, hopefully I have enough. Oh, I don't. I don't know who's got what equipped. You know? Uh... Here. I think I can, okay, okay, that one's good. That one can use an upgrade. That one can use an upgrade. Okay, so they all have at least one, they all have at least two upgrades. Yeah, I know it's jo Johanny, Jolie, and Bastila, but I'm not sure which one's which. You dual wield so you hog all the crystals? I don't do a wield. I have a double bladed lightsaber though, which I very much enjoy. 
Can I upgrade my armor? I can only upgrade this armor. Oh. What? Okay, sure. Wait, no. Uh, nobody's wearing Callow Nord's armor right now. So, no. It's not even equipped. Uh, upgrade. What do, do I have anything? No? What? Do I not have, like, options for these? Sure. Okay. Nice, nice. Look at me go. Prom dress, prom dress. I went shopping for one of my prom dresses on a day when I was very depressed. <laughs> I can't remember which one, or was it prom? I think it was prom. It might have been like homecoming. But it was like my mom took me out because I was to cheer me up and buy pretty things. And I ate Arby's. I remember distinctly. It was great. You've been so busy? I believe it. No. Like, every time I see your little art down below the stream, I think of you and I'm like, I hope she's doing well. Excuse me, little frog. I think... Where's Jolie hiding? Where's Jolie hiding? We never had any, like, problems, though, you think? You think maybe you guys really you guys didn't have problems like back in the day? Whoop, nobody in here. But now everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it. Do I need to go this way? Mm -hmm. Mission, how's it going? You didn't want to go to yours, but a girl really wanted to go with me, so you sucked it up. Took the girl and had fun. It wasn't bad. It was actually a fun night. Happy ending! Yay! Had a talk and it wasn't too bad. Assassin, I'm proud. Getting all dressed up. That was real nice of you to take her, even when she really wanted to hey go. Hey there. What can I do for you? I... Uh, security spike? No problem. Just so happens I've got one here I've been working on. Here you go. I'll just add it to our inventory. Anything else you need? Uh, talk about your brother? I've been thinking about Lena and what she said about Griff. You know, how he was always blaming other people for his problems. There might be something to what she said. Hmm, you mean you believe her story? Or Griff may not have been perfect, but he is your brother. You mean you believe her story now? No, of course not. Not really. But what if... What if it was his idea to leave me behind? I'm not saying Griff would just abandon me, but maybe, maybe he did want to leave me behind. Just temporarily, you know? He might have done that if he planned on coming back later, but things don't usually work out for Griff the way he planned, you know? And that's when he'd get in trouble. He was always borrowing money he could never pay back. He might have been trying to skip out on his debts when he left Harris. He would have to leave his little sister behind so it would look like he was coming back. Hmm. Kind of like how you came to Terrace in the first place. Yeah, well, no, not exactly. Look, all I'm trying to say is that the more I think back, the more I realize I might be idolizing my brother a bit, not seeing all his wow. faults. Wow. I still want to find him. I need to see him again. It's just that I'm not sure how I'll react when I do. Okay, that's really good. She's growing up. She's thinking things through. Is the main aim of this game to make all the characters look ridiculous? I think it is. If it's not the main aim, it's at least one of the major side arcs. Because I think she has the most ridiculous one. She looked like she literally has the Enterprise stuck to her face. Hi, my dog is like, he's like, play with me, blah, 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 blah. Doggy, I'm playing Star Wars. Don't you know? Okay. When the time comes, you'll know what to say, Mission. Even if I want to tell her, I think he deserves a swift kick in the groin. Maybe. We'll see. I don't... 
I don't want to judge him yet. Maybe Lena was lying. Or maybe, maybe she wasn't. All I know is I'd like to good, speak to good plan, myself. Good plan. If we have time, I'd like to go talk to the Zerker Corp rep on Tatooine and see what he has to say about where my brother is now. Tatooine? Oh boy, that place kicked my butt. I can't, can I turn with it? I can't, I have to use two hands. Doggy, I have to use two hands to play this video game. Actually, I don't. Ha 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 ha! I can move with just this. Okay, we're good. I, but I have to click with the other hand. Prom is really big, because it's not like homecoming or something. You get to actually have fun with people who are willing to have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after prom, we have like, well, we go, prom is just a giant celebration for the end of school, and everybody gets to dress up and look nice, and... And it's just, it's just a time for everybody to sort of let loose and look. Like, you never get a chance as a teenager, really, to be, like, wearing something super formal. And, like, but it, and, like, it's always, like, oh, I don't want to wear something super formal. But there's kind of, at least, especially, I've, I've, maybe guys, like, you guys only get to wear tuxes. But you guys, you guys, I have seen some creative tuxes. Like, uh, what are those, like, zap suits or whatever? Like, bright blue, you know, or, like, polka dotted or something. But, like, the girls get to wear these beautiful dresses and get their hair done up all nice. And, like, it's just, it's just like a once a, it doesn't happen very often. There's not many chances in anybody's life, even as an adult, to wear something that pretty and formal, flowy and stuff. It's just a really fun time. Are you okay? Did I pull too hard? It was prom fall and immediately graduation. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, all right. Whoop. Got something on your mind, do you? Um, you never actually did say why you decided to come with me. No, I never did, did I? I love him. Uh, are you always going to be this elusive? Elusive? Me elusive? Obviously, you've never tried to grab a Twi'lek dancing girl after drinking too much Onder and Willick nope, juice. No, I haven't. At any I have rate, not. I already told you why I wanted to Put leave. Put that on my bucket list. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashik. Time to go. Time to move on. Uh, I'll have to put that on my bucket list, you know? Unless it's a great Gatsby party. Right, I mean, like, we don't do that anymore. Like, you know, I guess maybe if you're rich. Maybe you're super rich, you know? Then you get to wear fancy things all the time, but most normal people don't get a chance to do that very often. You didn't do a graduation thing, at least not for high school, you just finished? I mean, that's fine. It's kind of fun to celebrate it. Like, people are like, be graduating high school is just really basic and you you should, doesn't really need a celebration. And I'm like, you know what? It's a pretty dang big freaking milestone. You're basically about to become an adult. You're like leaving behind all this stuff that you've done as like a child and you're moving on in the world and I think it's fun to celebrate it. University on the other hand, heck yeah. I mean, there's parties all the time for university. Uh, let's see, move on to where? To bed, <laughs> I'm old and tired. <laughs> Jolie and HKL because they're probably the two funniest people I've got. <laughs> I want to be him when I get old. It's in bed. I'm old and tired. <laughs> oh my gosh. Best writing in this game. <laughs> Oh, I gotta throw your hat in the air and everything. Yeah, graduated university. Throw my hat in the air. Wave it around like I just don't care. No, really, old man. What are you doing? How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And then there's all the critters in the Shadowlands. I'm just happy to be back in space doing something new. Is that too much? Nah, to man, ask? he's living his life. This guy is like, he's like legit. He's just living his best life, you know? Uh, no, I guess not. There. Now, was that so hard? An old man has to be allowed some petty eccentricities. Nice to see you agree for once. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. 
Right, he wants to watch me get blown into a vent or something because he keeps predicting all these great destinies for people and then having them die ig ignominious deaths. Jolie needs a pet. Yeah, give him a frog. It would be a, a big old toad. Be a perfect pet for old man Jolie. <laughs> uh, what interest do you have in my future? Interest? Well, I certainly don't have a vested interest. Call it more idle curiosity. <laughs> Your destiny is rather unclear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... something is very dark about oh, you. Oh, thanks. But... Ah, I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. Uh, so you're coming along to not offer your opinions? <laughs> I'll remind you that you're the one who started pumping me for information. Like an old man doesn't have anything better to do. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> and that can't be all bad. What? Is that the one who got thrown into a vent? He sensed the squirrel. He sensed my dark side. My dark side. No me, Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all oh day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so you're coming along as some kind... Of I, I kind of was like, I didn't bring, I don't bring you along for your amusement, you know, but I, I bring him along for my amusement. Sunrider? It is a, it is an odd name. Yeah, not similar to, wait, no, it is similar. What is it? No, oh, Skywalker. Whoa, because I, I was like, I haven't heard the Sunrider. I was trying to think if I knew, if I heard that name. Okay, okay, Skywalker. Okay, fine. Sunrider, Skywalker. Whatever! <laughs> That's actually awesome. Nice. You know what? There had to be a president for Skywalker somewhere. And this game was like 2,000 years ago or something. Because Skywalker, literally nobody has a name like Skywalker. Nobody. It's the weirdest name in the whole entire game. This is where the precedent comes from. Sunrider. Heh. <laughs> Try hard. Uh, so you're along as some kind of observer? My dog's pulling my arm off. Nonsense. Have I ever refused to help you when you asked? How confused can one person be anyway? Shut up! One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times <laughs> if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoo, what shoo. do you mean? Young people are supposed to be chatty. Or maybe it's just old men and women that are supposed to talk a lot. Have you met my other friend, Mr. Cloud Wrangler? I know, right? Oh my gosh. All right, we've had a nice chat with Trolley. Mm. I think that was, now I just need to go up and talk. It should be everyone except for the tube in the cockpit. Yeah, Bastion and Karth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I just leave those guys for last. Why are you... Oh, that's right, because nobody's... I was like, why are you both staring at me? It's because nobody's flying right now. Because we're in dock. I talked to Big Z. He didn't have anything. How can I help? You wish to talk to me? I do. I've been watching you. Studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. <laughs> what? I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable, but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this, but I will do my best to make you understand. Okay. I know, I feel like Bastion totally wants us. It's probably because, like, she's the only romance option if you're a dude. And they don't change the dialogue much. What are you trying to tell me? 
The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. Are you talking about Revan? Uh, you seem to know this temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have Tucky. the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? I feel like she's targeting Revan. Hello, Justice Chalka. Welcome. Bastila, yes, it's, it seems like a fact that no matter what gender you are, Bastila wants you and the game just teases you. Uh, are you saying the light side is innocent of killing? One who serves the light does not strike down an innocent. We take arms against the dark side and the injustice that follows it only. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. Do what is required? Yeah, that's, I feel like that's where the path to the dark side lays, and like, we have to harden our hearts. It's like, no, the light side's about compassion. Do whatever is required, such as? I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Yeah, okay. You're so ominous all the time, Bastila. Yes, what's on your mind? The dark side has milk and cookies? A classic. Tell me why you want revenge on Saul so badly. I already told you, he betrayed us all. I can't take you seriously with your, like, eye covers. Uh, like blinders. It just seems to be more personal than that, is all. Well, there, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. I just say I asked, didn't I? It's just that I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my home world, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be What? We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but the, the, they didn't come in time. What? He had a wife? He's previously married? So the guys get Bastila, who's like this single, cold-hearted woman, and the women get Karth, who's a guy with a lot of baggage, and he had a wife and a kid? What? I was not expecting this. I was not. Who could? What? In what realm is Karth already married at some point? What? What? Oh my gosh! Stop playing that VR game while we chat, right? Oh my god, I was not expecting. <laughs> yeah, but she's dead now, so he's single. I know, but now it feels even worse. He has a he has dead wife baggage. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, um, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Of course, I didn't know. I'm. That's a dumb thing. But I do want to say that's terrible. I'm sorry. Of course not. How could I you? Know. I know. I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them. And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again, but I... I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. 
That's all I have left. Well, there's a ton of people out there who can say they specifically want to kill Saul, and killing him isn't going to make him feel any pain because he didn't. He's not going to lose loved ones. You know what I mean? But I get it. It's gonna. It's not gonna make. It's not. It's not. It's not making that guy feel bad. It's about making yourself feel better through vengeance. But it doesn't really work that way. But what happened to your kid? He's like, I was holding my wife and screaming, and and nobody came fast enough. But apparently his kid also died. Just died. Wow. He's got dead kid baggage and dead wife baggage. Kaden! It is Kaden! <laughs> I know. I actually called him Kaden earlier. There's lots of baggage. Oh, boy. Uh, you have a point the male romance option is better? Yeah, I think it is. I think it, I think it is a little bit. I don't know. I mean, Bachelor seems like she's very cold, but I'll bet you if you get to know her, she's really warm, you know? Uh, what was she like, your wife? She had courage, and she was stubborn. Oh! <laughs> a little bit like you and that. Uh. Never talk her out of anything once she put her mind Great. to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. Now I had planned on, on leaving soon to join her. So now I'm like his wife, and that's why he likes me. It's like Horizon Zero Dawn and Aloy and the king all over again. Jeez, why is it always like, this is creepy. It's just a little creepy, because then you feel like if you're the second girlfriend or the second wife or whatever, you just feel like you're constantly being compared to the other one and that you're a replacement to the first one. Basta has a sexy voice. She does have a very relaxing voice. She does. I, I agree. What happened to your son? You didn't say. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh no. His name was Dustin. He's alive! And I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin and we never found any. He's trace. alive! I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, that's the story. For what His it's worth. His son is alive! And his son's gonna have a huge complex because he's gonna feel like his father abandoned him. And then I'm gonna be dating Karth and I'm gonna like acquire this like random grown ass son. And I what? This is the worst outcome. Worst timeline. Worst timeline. They say Fashion wasn't fighting. <laughs> was it saying? Wait, um, I. I don't think that's what he was saying at all. I don't know where you got that from. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, it's Bam Shep, but doing a sexy voice. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. At one point, one of Karth's personal missions as we develop the relationship is going to be finding his lost son. And it's going to be, it's going to be a doozy. Okay, thank you for telling me about your previous wife that I resemble that you held in your arms and screamed while she died. Great. I've uh, never talked about it before to anyone. I suppose it's time I finally did. Yeah, it is. That kind of weight will kill you. Wow. Karth Bastula. Jolie. I love Jolie. But I didn't get anything from... <laughs> date the Wookiee seems the safest option. I would love to date the Wookiee. I legitimately would. I actually... Well, I kind of want to date Johanny, but she also kind of wants to kill me, so... You know, it's kind of a turn-on in these games, I guess. Uh, have anything more to say about yourself? Okay. Alright, alright. Uh, I think I already asked this. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. Nothing's changed with Zalbar, but I do... Oh, maybe I can't... I can't with the inventory. It won't let me... Cramp. It won't let me... Just, like, do inventory for everybody, which is kind of dumb. Damage resistance 5 versus Sonic? Computer use, plus four. Demolitions, plus four. Security, plus four. Awareness, plus four. Wisdom, plus five. The wisdom is a good a good one to have. I, I will keep it. Of course, the squirrel likes it for... No, Larry brought it up! Why are you... Why? Fortitude, plus three... Resist plus five of bludgeoning. That's my stealth mode. Uh, right. I have uncontrolled muscle spasms. Uh, fortitude's fine, I think. Oh, I shouldn't have the strength gauntlets on because I don't use them. Sure. Constitution plus. Okay, that's good. Okay. I can't change my headgear yet, unfortunately. Wait, yeah, okay. Alright, we've had a nice chat with everybody. And after all that lovely chatting, we're gonna call it here. That was a this was kind of a bombshell from uh, from old Karth there. Almost called him Caden again. Even now in this time of post recording, just me putting in new commentary at the beginning and the end. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.